Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will create the shell script file that CodeBuild will use to build the Docker image and push it to Docker Hub. Before we create our shell script file, there's something I want to show you. Remember in the previous project, when we built our Docker image manually, these are the commands we used to build the Docker image. So in this lecture where CodeBuild is going to build our Docker image, when we create the shell script file that code build we use to build our docker image these are the same commands we will use in the shell script file i will leave the link to this command in this video's description so you can use it to follow along to create the shell script file what i want you to do is click anywhere in here in your project folder make sure you are not creating your shell script file in the tech max folder create it in your project folder the cicd build docker image project folder so click anywhere in here and right click, then select new file. Give the file a name. The first shell script file we will create, we will use it to build the Docker image. Name your shell script file buildimage.sh. Once you've given it the name, press enter. There you go, we have created the shell script file. And code build will use the shell script file to build the Docker image. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this here and I'm going to dock it side by side so you can see what's going on. Remember code build will use this shell script file to build the Docker image. So when you create a shell script file, the first thing you have to enter up here is a shebang. So that is the hashtag exclamation mark forward slash bin forward slash bash. Once you've entered the shebang, press enter and press enter again. The next command I always like to add to my shell script file is set eu. So type it like this. The command is set dash eu. And what this would do is the shell script will fail if there's any error in it. So once you've entered the command, it's also good to add a note above it so that anyone reading your script can know what the command means. So here I'm going to add the notes above it. Above your set EU command, you can enter this note if you want. Then the next thing we are going to do is press enter and press enter again. The next command we will add is the command we will use to build the Docker image. When we build our Docker image manually, remember this is the command we used. So what I want you to do is right click and copy this command. Once you copy it, we are going to paste it in our shell script file. And this is all we need to do to create the shell script file that code build will use to build the Docker image. Once you've created this shell script file, I want you to save it. I'll select file and select save. Once you've saved the shell script file, close it. The next shell script file we will create is the shell script file that code build will use to push the Docker image to Docker Hub once it builds it. So to create the shell script file, right click anywhere in your project folder. Then click new file. Code build will use this shell script file to push the image to Docker Hub. So name the file pushimage.sh. Once you've named the file pushimage.sh, press enter. And there you go. We have created the shell script file. We called it pushimage.sh. The next thing I'm going to do is take my command and I'm going to dock it here so you can see what's going on. Remember we said the shell script file we just created is the file code build we use to push the Docker image to Docker Hub. And also remember that when you create shell script file, you always have to start with a shebang just like we did in the buildimage.sh shell script file i'll select it so what i want you to do is copy this first two that we created there the shebang and the fail on any error copy it once you copy it i'm going to close the buildimage.sh and i'll paste it in the pushimage.sh once you have entered shebang and fail on any error press enter Remember when we built our image manually in the previous lecture? To push the image to Docker Hub, 
the first thing we have to do is log into our Docker Hub account. And this is the command we use to log into Docker Hub. Then once we've logged into our Docker Hub account, we tagged the image we built a new name. And this is the command we use to do that. Once we tag the image a new name, we push that image to Docker Hub. So what I want you to do is copy these three commands from line 10 to line 17. Copy everything. Once you copy it, we are going to paste it in here. And this is all we need to do to create our shell script file. Once you've pasted in here, save your file. I'll select file and select save. So just to explain what's going on, in the build image.sh we created, code build will use this shell script file to build our Docker image. Once code build has built the Docker image, in the push image.sh shell script file, code build will push the image it built into our Docker Hub repository. I'm going to close the reference file because we don't need it anymore. Again, your build image.sh file should look like this. And your push image.sh file should look like this. If you have any questions on this lecture or there's any part you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.